Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you my new external sound card, the second generation Focusrite Scarlett 2A2 and how to easily set up Reaper on Windows 10 and start recording with it in 5 minutes, just right after the intro. Alright, so I bought it on Amazon for 120 euros and I received it home just 3 days after I ordered it. So the outer cardboard is very strong and the front packaging says second generation 2 in 2 out USB audio interface. 24 bits, 192 kilohertz, which should be perfect for a home recording situation and it features a good collection of included software and effects such as Ableton Live, Lite, Pro Tools First, Addictive Keys and Softube. On the back you can read the instructions for connecting your instrument and microphone to the sound card and to connect your DAW and loudspeakers as well. Opening the box we found the safety instructions. Read these instructions. Follow instructions. No naked flames such as light candles should be placed on the apparatus. Okay. We found a very stylish red USB cable and here's the beautiful sound card. Alright, so on the front panel we have two input preamps. They both have a gain knob and can host a jack or an XLR cable at line or instrument impedance. On the right side we find the phantom power and direct monitoring switches and also the headphones and main volume knobs. Then on the rear panel we can see the Kensington security slot, the USB port and two line outputs for your right and left speaker. Alright, so first of all I need to register to the Focusrite official website and download and install the proper drivers for my Windows 10 computer. I can also download all the software bundles that come with this sound card. Alright, so now the sound card is connected and working and I want to be sure that the program is using the right sound card and the right driver that I've just installed. So let's go to Options, Preferences or just click Ctrl P and let's check if under the Device tab everything is ok. So as you can see it still has the Asia for All version 2 drivers loaded but I'm going to change this to Focusrite USB ASIO drivers. Alright, two inputs, two outputs and this is the very simple ASIO control panel where you can set the sample rate and the buffer size. So as you can see it's setting the sample rate to 48 kHz and the buffer size to 256 samples I'm currently having 11 milliseconds of latency. So to get the lowest latency I suggest you to change these parameters, especially the buffer size, to a lower number, 128 should be good. Alright, so now I'm having 6.2 milliseconds of latency, that's very good. Ok, so now everything is set up correctly, let's hear how it sounds. Alright folks, this is all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and be sure to click the bell button to be notified whenever I'm posting new videos, reviews and everything. Also, if you're a metalhead, don't forget to check out my songs on my Bandcamp page. Thanks for watching, see you the next time!